Yeah, so I don't know. Let's maybe I'll sing a song while we're waiting for Leanne. Okay. Um, I was working on a pro <clears throat> an album project, which I have brought to a close, and it's done now. I'm just getting in the phase where I'm going to get ready to promote it, put it out on online platforms, that type of thing. I still need to do cover art, that type of thing. So it'll still be probably May 1st is when I'm shooting to have it out. Uh, but this is one of the songs on there. And this song frustrated my my guitar playing friends, Russell Schott and Ian Rossiter, who both played on here. And they both swore while they were recording this song. I don't know why. It seems simple to me, but I didn't have to play those parts. <laughs> But this song is called Couch Surfing, and the whole album has to deal with themes surrounding Indigenous homelessness. Nice. Here we go. Couch Surfing. It was a cold January, my first winter here in the city. I was crashing with family. A couple of cousins and my auntie. I gave her my last dime for a place to stay. The old man got drunk, sent me on my way. Oh, I've seen better days couch surfing. Hell, it never feels like Better sleep away from what I'm hoping. I wandered the streets alone with just a backpack and a dying cell phone. I called, I called everyone I knew. My sister's ex finally came through. She said her house was full, but she'd make space. An old sofa bed in the garage was my new place. My momentary home base, couch surfing. I lived in feels like home. Couch surfing. Better sleep with one eye open. Oh, it'd be much longer if we had lead breaks and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but right big on, shout man. out to uh, my brother Bryce Ajikude, who played the drums on this album. Uh, Ian Rossiter, who played acoustic instruments like the mandolin, the banjo, and the acoustic guitar. Russell Schott played the electric guitars. Jared Sound played some piano parts. Chelsea Young did the backup vocals. I played the bass guitar, lots of rhythm guitars. And I played yeah. the hand drum. You played the <laughs> hand drum. That is right. You did play the hand drum. Yeah, we had a whole group of people that pitched in, and I just appreciate all of you. All of you. So what um what was the inspiration? I know you 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 say uh you know, it's about, you know, homelessness, but what brought you the, to that conclusion and why are you doing a, an album that's focused on that? Well, I spent the last six years working in Housing First in Edmonton, um, working frontline work with people experiencing homelessness. And just like some of the stats that I saw from Homer Trust's website last from last month, Oh, there's Leanne right there. We'll let her in. There are over 3,000 homeless people in Edmonton and over 61% identify as First Nations people. So that's 61% of the homeless population in Edmonton is First Nations on their own traditional territory. Why is that? That's why I decided to explore those issues with this album. And we're going to try Leanne again. So watch out for my album, everybody. All right. <laughs> Hello, Leanne. Hello, how are you? Hey. <laughs> I'm so glad I get to see you guys. And hello, everyone listening and watching, joining us this evening. 
Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. Uh, we we got a chance to you know uh, check out the song. Um, it wasn't our first time, but but the video, you know, and uh, you know the lyrics in there. Tell us about uh, you know how you came up with the idea of War Cry and and all that. Well, a few years back, I was on tour with Jared Sowen, and many of you know who he is, and he's like a brother to me. And uh, my very good friend, Jason Gordon of Studio 11 in Winnipeg. And we went up north to do a few dates. And while we were on this tour, we were just struck by the contrast. We were in this city in an urban setting and, you know, it was air pollution and smoggy. And then we flew north and things were beautiful and blue and green and clear skies and big sun and open decks with people, you know, having barbecues and doing, you know, at home things on the land. And we, Jason opened up the computer and, you know, the sound that the Apple computer makes. And all of a sudden <laughs> I started humming this thing and then it became this song. And um, I felt so moved by just the fact that we come from such a powerful place. You know, the land feeds us and gives us everything that we need to survive. And what are we leaving behind for our future? So I want to thank Jason Gordon and Jared Sowen for their contributions. And we actually recorded that song in my living room in Inuvik, uh, the instruments. And then we recorded the vocals on Shauna Spilchek's deck in Norman Wells. Uh, while we were doing a show out there, it was so beautiful and quiet. And we just thought, you know, maybe we should capture these nature sounds and just see what it sounds like. And that's how it and that's how that song came to be. And um, we have some wonderful guest play, players on there. And I just want to say thank you as well, because, you know, without those contributions from our community and people supporting one another, songs like songs don't get made and we need to see art happen. Right. No, totally, totally. I, I, you know, <clears throat> I was totally feeling the lyrics and I love the way you describe the land and, you know, the sky and everything. You can really picture, you know, what you're saying in there and, and how beautiful the land is um, in, in, you know, that you come from. So, you know, it's awesome to have you on here. You know, we're all friends. We've all uh, done shows together and, you know, traveled and, you know, uh, yourself and, and myself, we we're uh, for me, it was part of my first AM camp at the time uh, where where we met and we had That's a, right. we had a house called Alberta House. As <laughs> we're blessed to be alive, so stand tall every day. Got a lot of life left to live and a lot left to say.